If you don't up, you'd admit you've done it on purpose, Amos Brayley. Done what? All this dust. I know your dodges. All that there. It's nothing but a pretense. Just one of your tricks to make us all drink more. You're as bad as rest of them when it comes to making money. And if you leave your mouth open like that, you'll get your lungs full of dust. Wear a mask. We all should. You should give them a door as we come in. Mrs Norris, I've got quite enough to contend with without you trying to be funny at my expense. Funny? I'm not trying to be funny. I mean it. he lose custom, you know. People won't stand for it. He's cutting off his nose to spite his face. All right, lads, you can knock off now. Snap time. What you playing at, eh? You're playing at? Oh. Who's responsible for all this? Not responsible? But half a ton of misery just come down that chimney, oh. down near killed us. What damage has been done then? And who's going to pay for it? Now keep your wool on, keep your wool on. <laughs> There's been no damage done here. There's been plenty of damage done to my nerves. Uh, I think the house should stand this one all round. Run, run. What was that? I what? can't hear what you say. Why, it was a damn great chimney. You could drive horse and cart through it. It must have been partly blocked up at one time. Aye, right, well, just so long as you don't charge us for unblocking it. I don't want to see out about unblocking chimneys when your bill comes in. Well, what about that drink, Amos Braley? Mrs Norris, you can have a drink with pleasure. Just so long as you're prepared to pay for it. <laughs> 